Hello YouTube friends, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a pie chart using OpenOffice. So to my left here I have a table and it states how many students in a classroom support a particular team. In this case there is 7 for Liverpool, 6 for Man U, 5 for Spurs, 4 for Arsenal, 3 for Chelsea, 2 for Wolverhampton, and three for others. With the data here, we can see that the total of students in the classroom is 30, and these numbers over here to the right represent the percentage of the total of students, which is 30. So 23.33% support Liverpool, 20% support Man U, 16.67% support spurs, etc, etc. Now what this pie chart is going to do is represent how many students support a particular team in terms of the percentage of the total. This pie chart is going to allow us to visualize these percentages. Although I've got these percentages and they are very useful, they are not required to create this pie chart. The only thing that's required is these boxes over here. I select these boxes and then I go to the chart icon up here, click on it, and then I go to pie over here. Okay? So what we've got is this pie chart and it represents as a percentage of the total how many students support a particular team. This can be expanded so that we can see it more clearly and it can also be given a 3D look just like this. If you want to add a title to the chart all you do is go to number 4 over here, chart elements and you put the title into this box over here. You can also add a subtitle and you can move the names of these teams to the left. Let me see, top or bottom of the chart. Okay, I've selected what I want. I like the 3D look, so I'm going to click on finish over here and then I'm going to expand the size of this visual, okay? As we can see, this is what it looks like. If you prefer the flat version, you can go for that. If you don't like the 3D version, these pie charts are going to be very useful if you're a bookkeeper or an accountant, or if you're doing any of the sciences. Visualizing data is extremely important. It helps us make sense of all the numbers that we're dealing with. If this video has been useful to you, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as many similar videos are going to be posted. I also have an Instagram page called mathematics.proofs. If you like mathematics, be sure to follow it. There are many, many followers here, 23.8k in fact. Anyway, thanks for watching this video and I'll talk to you soon.